Ethan, are you in? Hey, George, where are you? I'm up here. But how did you get up there? It's my latest invention. It makes the little trains go over wastelands, oceans, and mountain peaks. Isn't it cool? Awesome. Can I take a ride? No problem. Come out. I brought another set for you. It's wonderful. Everything is so small down there. Hey, look, it's Grandpa Billy. Grandpa Billy, hello. Little brats, I can't see you. Where are you? My invention is not for the use of mischief and pranks. It is for help and assistance. Let's go make fun of Arnold. I should really stop watching those alien movies before midnight. He quickly found shelter in the attic from them. Suddenly, a voice of an alien came through the window and said to them, We came for your delicious engine. We came for your delicious engine. My engine isn't tasty. Who has a delicious one here? Fantastic has for sure. Fantastic. Your engine is delicious, isn't it? No, mine doesn't taste good either. We're all totally disgusting dudes here. <laughs> Look at you guys! Open your eyes, it's us! True friends would never do such a thing. Hey there, don't worry, Arnold. Tomorrow we will pay them back, I can promise you that. It was an awesome ride, thank you. But the prank was a bit wicked, don't you think? Yeah, tomorrow we'll fly there to apologize. We test the system now. We'll make sure it works, and in the evening, they'll see it coming. Are you sure I won't fly to outer space? I hardly had any breakfast. Don't worry about it, Arnold. Just let it go. Oh, oh. What did you eat? Kettlebells? Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Grandpa Billy. <sighs> Lovely weather today. <laughs> I love stories about castles, especially yeah, enchanted ones. <gasps> what time is it now, please? Uh, Arnold, where are you going? Wait for us. I'd be happy, but I can't stop. thanks to my latest invention. But still, true friendship is the best help you can get. Hey, friends. Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. I can't understand it. Such a good teacher like yourself having such a badly behaved son? We didn't know. Well, you should have known that. The railroad is no playground. It's very dangerous. Especially if you're clinging to moving wagons. It's dangerous for everybody, not just kids. And this time they got away with a scratch. But next time they could get seriously injured. I... I think it's time to go. Goodbye! What's wrong with you? How could you do that? Now go home. Your father will have a talk with you later. What?
What's going on? Did they go and play on the railroad again? I told him a million times. And I assure you that we studied all the safety rules in class over and over again. Safety rules, you say? Mm-hmm. I see. Well, it's time to study the unsafety rules, then. Just trust me. <laughs> Children, I need your help now. We are all going to teach someone the unsafety rules. Huh? Oh, those adults. They always worry and it's for nothing. Arnold, wake up! Don't fall asleep! Our adventures are waiting! Hey, George, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Wanna go with me where I've been yesterday? Yeah, but first tell me where you were yesterday! Playing on the railroad. It's so cool. I broke something when I played there, but the doctor says in two years I'll be fine. Can you three help me and push me to the railroad? Because I can't go by myself anymore. Hmm. No. It's too early for you. It's just too bad he played on the railroad, eh? Huh? Oh, hey guys, do you like our new look? You know, now I have to go out in two separate parts. Can you imagine that? Huh? But what happened to you guys? Oh, nothing much. We were clinging on to Grandpa Billy when all of a sudden he reversed. I'm telling you, it was great fun. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but they say that someday the pain may pass. Is it fun or what? Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, maybe can we go to the library instead of oh, that? No. Uh, we had some plans, remember? Vera, you were a very good girl. Playing on the railroad is what it's all about. Yes, Mother. And now the joy is tearing me apart. <laughs> Uh, w where was it that we wanted to play on? Mm, well, now I changed my mind. So, how do I get to the library? Turn left at the corner. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> I think that they finally got the point. It was much easier than making our dad stop snoring at uh, To begin with... Here is the road traffic safety guide, and we'll start with the signs first. Hey, I... uh, can I be the first to read it? Huh? Oh, oh. Where's your costume? This is my champion outfit. No, you can't go to the ball looking like this. worry about a thing. I'll reveal to you all the beauty secrets I know. Wow, you look so beautiful. Let's take a picture together. Let's go. We're late. Hi there, Vera. I'm not Vera. Vera, hello. Hi, Vera. But I am Wendy. <laughs> Well, 
then, my dear and precious trains, I'd like to remind you that at the end of our masquerade ball, we're going to conduct a costume contest. Oh, Vera, that's a great costume. You can surely win the contest. <sighs> I'd like to declare that the costume contest has begun. Please meet our contestants, Vera, dressed up as uh, Vera, Sam Sparky, dressed up as a pirate, and of course our dear lovely Mrs. Dove. And the winner for the very best costume goes to oh. <laughs> Wendy! Ha -ha! In her champion costume. <sighs> hey guys, have you seen Wendy anywhere? We came in together, but where is she now? Hey, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me, with my very best friend. Hey, Wendy, I've been looking for you all day. Wow. Hey, Vera, who's this beauty in the picture here? Yeah, so what's her name? <laughs> uh, it's a secret. <laughs> Hi guys, oh I'm terribly late for my dance class. Don't disorient me, how are you doing? Hello there, Vera. It really is bad to be late. Therefore, we won't hold you back any longer. And we're doing fine. We bought a new game called <laughs> The Adventures of the Transformers. Oh, it must be shooting and stuff. And I like the game, with enchanted castles, a prince and a princess, and their wedding in the end, and... Vera, how late are you already? When I met you, I was late for two minutes. Uh, oh no, uh, what have you done, you guys? No, I'm late for five whole minutes. Oh dear, what have we done, Ethan? We must help her. Yeah, but how? I've got an idea. So if I understand you correctly, you want to stop all the clocks in Train City for five minutes? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Clockface, please. Please, it's only for five minutes. Vera won't be late that way. The Train City is so big, and five minutes aren't a very long time, you know. No one would ever notice. Oh, please, could you help us? So what you're saying is that you think nobody would notice those five minutes, right? All right, then, let's just picture this for a moment, shall we? <laughs> la la la, I have guests today. Oh, it's time to take the cake out. It's been five minutes sharp. Oh! <laughs> I'm burning, I'm burning! Water, I need water! Oh, let's hear the weather forecast for today, huh? It has been our weather broadcast for tomorrow. You are Wendy. listening to... Darling, I'm going to take a quick shower before work. Remember, in five minutes, they're closing the water to repair the pipes. I've got plenty of time. A whole five minutes. La, 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 la. La la li la 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 Hey, 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 what's going on? Where's all the water at? Hmm, yeah. Mr. Clockface was right. Poor Mrs. Dove with her cake. And my dad, he was late for work. And poor Grandpa Billy with the weather broadcast. But George, what about Vera? We didn't help her, did we? Oh, oh, oh. Hi there, guys. 
Vera? Were you very late? I wasn't late at all. I got confused. Actually, my dancing class is tomorrow. Uh, tell me, Ethan. Who would be the most disoriented person in the whole of Train City? Huh? I think that would be Vera. Of course it's Vera. <laughs> Outdated. How about we conduct a modernization, huh? A modernization? A modernization. When something is old and worn out, it gets replaced with something new and not so worn out. Do you want to replace Grandpa Billy with some Sparky? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. I suggest replacing Grandpa Billy's coal-firing furnace with an electric razor. Oh. What do you think, huh? I don't see your motor moving anywhere. It'll move for sure. Go and get me a flatbed trailer. Huh. Uh, oh! Ow! Ugh! that this motor has moved you off the rails. Oh, so what? But I fixed it. That is in theory. And what about in practice? Um, in practice, it gave me an electric shock as well. <sighs> okay, drawing the last nut up tight, and it's done. Aha! Congratulations, Grandpa Billy. Modernization is now a success. And now, you can go for your first test run. <laughs> hey, Grandpa Billy, welcome to the modern high-speed world. Have any brakes? <laughs> I mean, I've got no brakes. It doesn't have any brakes. Hey, hey, I can't stop. Why can't Grandpa Billy put on the brakes? Unfortunately, in theory, Grandpa Brake System isn't adapted for high speed, you know. All right, then. We'll just have to try and stop him in practice. Don't you worry, Grandpa Billy. It's all right. Don't hide your fear. Tell me something, anything. Oh, it's not exactly what I wanted to hear right now. the problem of stopping Grandpa Billy. Now let's think about tearing Grandpa Billy off the rails. Ooh. And about returning Grandpa Billy's old coal-firing furnace? That's what I want more than anything. I build a cableway with a motor set. It helps Grandpa Billy to get coal. You are awesome. You actually did your modernization. Oh, oh modernization. <laughs> oh. Boop, 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 boop,
プルププイプープープはあああああプレスト・サブスクライブ・ウォッチ・ニュー・エピソード